of mine. Whole lot of not mine. <laughs> What's uh, that? Oh, uh -huh. oh. <laughs> okay, I have to get my YouTube voice going. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, I apologize. I totally had no intent of filming uh, a day out on the pier. Took my mom out here uh, because we come out here once in a while, no cameras running. Uh, we love to crab snare and you know, sometimes you're just lazy or you, know, you just don't think it's worth filming. And honestly, there is such a thing as a GoPro curse. Anytime I've run my GoPro, I really haven't caught anything. Well, that kind of, no, today proves that point. Like I've had like the best crab day all year and uh, guess what, I'm not running my GoPro. Hey. Look at that. There's gentlemanly scholar signs. You remember that uh, Castmaster video? Well, that's him. So, and this is uh, some random fan that I ran into. No autographs, please. I'm telling you, we caught some stuff. Hold on. Yeah, we got lots of crabs. We got a video of the whole thing, and you told me to put on the TV. Crabs. You got the crabs. No, put them back in. Put it Boom. in the water, Aria. Put it in the water. Look at that. Look, this never happens. Keeper male, keeper male, one female here. All done in, I don't know what, like two hours of, of fishing. Look, crab it, magic. Crab magic. I wasn't running the GoPro, and that's what happens when you don't run the GoPro. You catch a lot of stuff. Trust me, it's it, the GoPro curse is real. Now that I brought out the GoPro, you know that all the fishing and everything's gonna be shut down for the night. But I just wanted to show you guys that uh, we were we we're killing it towards the end of the season. And uh, you know what? The crab production towards the end of the season is normally pretty good. Oh, watch out, I don't wanna get you uh, stabbed here. And uh, yeah, boom. I was like, I don't know. Two hours of crabbing, we've been through every cast has literally been a crab. It's just insane. And we actually have two uh, keeper rock crabs too that we're probably gonna toss back, but check these out. All about six and a quarter. I think the big one's like six and a half. Damn. We got two mean red crabs. Yeah. And Don't... it's very big. If you got one, oh it'll be good. <laughs> Do you are you are you guys gonna go eat your crabs later? Oh god, I don't know. Yeah. They haven't they... Eat so crab get crab. Yeah, they've been they've been so catching a lot of crabs too. We'll always help you. That's right. Okay, all right. So we're gonna put these guys back in the bucket, and uh, we're gonna keep crabbing until the sun sets, and uh, hopefully we can put some more on. Uh, till then, these guys are chilling and uh, waiting for that giant pot in the sky. Dang, crab season on fire! All right, let's see if we can actually get a crab pull on cam. Very difficult with the GoPro on for some reason. The bite just shuts off when the camera comes out to play. Gotta feel the crab. You know what? I think I might have one on here. Oh, maybe. Maybe. No. Oh, you know what? I had one on. Now he's gone. Oh, sun setting. Lighting is terrible. Almost got taken out by my mom. All right, mom. Say hi. How many crabs have you caught today? I caught a lot, but I throw a lot too. How many uh, keepers would you say are I th there? I think three. Three keepers. Uh, how many have you tossed back? Uh, about seven. Seven, yeah, and I think I've caught just as many. Andrew over there has caught just as many. Dang, it's been on fire over here. <laughs> well, he's caught a bunch too, but he has like one keeper, so. Oh man, all right. We're using squid, uh, herring, and uh, the King crappie fish. didn't work. Kingfish, kingfish is uh, tearing it up, so we're going to close out the day. Hopefully we can land one on film to show you how the process is done and um, take them home for a little bit of grubbing. Sound good? Yeah. All right. I'm pleased. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Huh? The inspector is there. Uh, okay. How about the, my rock crab? Is that okay? Yeah, the rock crabs are okay. All right. DFW's here. Oh, underhand cast for the win. I always underhand cast. Always. Hey. <laughs> Glad you're here. Before you check ours, I want you to know that we have one that's like right on the line and we want you to make the call. Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe she's three the female ones. So we got three. I got it. <laughs> Alright everyone. Five and three quarters from lateral spine to lateral spine, right? And here's the uh, female Directly in question. In front of it, excluding the lateral spines. Directly in front. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Grab the ball if you want. Yeah, if you don't mind. She's gonna let me. Oh, you know what? Did she move? <laughs> there you go. Cool. Pretty good. I mean, she 
So we know it's close. That looks to me like it's right there. Is that good? Yep. So, I think so. so okay. So if it's right there, I've been told. I don't know. See. This might be a old wives' tale or OG tale. But if you can slip a credit card, if you can't slip a credit card in between the ear and their well, shell, it has to actually touch. Okay. And so what do you think? So he kept it as a great opportunity to educate anyone that watches this. I'm touching the crab leg. Let go, girls. Yeah, it looks like it's touching there. Okay, great. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Yeah, All right, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Look at Grandpa. These are the three crabs we have. Good job, Mom. Got to keep it. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right. Can we get a crab with my GoPro on, please? Oh, there it is. Big boy. Big boy. A big boy feels good. Maybe he's coming in weird. Oh, maybe, maybe. It's a crab. I don't know. It's probably the one my mom just released. Yeah, and that's how it's done. All right, it's a short, but just wanted to get the actual catch and snare of a crab. Get some pen bolt, uh, get some rod bending action for you guys in this uh, piece together vid here. Now, males have a pointy apron that's about half the width of this. This is a female, so yeah, definitely too small. Well, if this is the last crab to be caught in the season here, we'll say adieu, goodbye, thanks for your service, get bigger. So we can catch you next time. Peace. Here are the red rock crabs. Again, uh, red rock crabs just have to be a minimum of four inches in California to keep. So we have uh, this guy here, uh, you'll notice that their claws are fairly large. Most of the meat is in the claws. There's some in the body and shoulders, not nearly as much as the Dungeness. So this is a red rock crab, very ocean tasting, and uh, we're going to put them in. One and two. I cover it just in case you try to skip. Put some on. And here we have the male Dungeness crab. Uh, Again, uh, males and females are legal to keep in the state of California, and they just gotta be five and three quarter inches uh, across from lateral spine to lateral spine. So we actually caught three of them today, which for a California shore-based, pier-based crab snarer is really good. So we're gonna put these in the pot, steam them up, and give them a taste. Thank you guys for your life going in. Lots of work. And, and not Dungeness <laughs> Crabs. So she went, she escaped Dungeness Crab Land and went over to Blue Crab Land. So, boo. So, we're going to reintroduce her what? to the Dungeness Crab that we all know and love. So, this is one of the bigger males that we caught, um, you know, at the pier the other day. And uh, we're going to try it cold this time. So, we did cook them last night. So, what you saw was everything done last night. And uh, we're going to try them cold. I saved a couple for my sister so she can get reintroduced to proper crabs. We have ourselves. <laughs> A big like six and a half inch male Dungeness crab and a rock crab. Now, have you ever tried rock crab before? I think so, but yeah. I, see, we're in between snow crab and rock crab in the East Coast. I think really? I could be wrong. Yeah, well, blue crab I know is super blue popular. Blue crab, <laughs> blue <laughs> crab, and like bay seasoning. But yes, I mean, we have a lot of that. Yeah, but I mean, like, check out the claw on that guy right there. It's 
huge, right? So yeah, I know bay seasoning reigns supreme uh, on mm -hmm. the East Coast, but come on, frankly, the crabs are so much smaller, you need a lot to, to dress up the meat, in my opinion. I know I'm gonna make some people mad, but here on the West Coast, lemon, a little bit of butter, maybe a touch of garlic is really all you need. Yeah, but I think it's not just how small they are, it's like, the whole environment of like when you eat them, you're on the table, they dump it out on the table, yeah, that's you get true. to crack them. So it's like, that's the whole part of it that's really fun. Yeah, let's reintroduce you to real crabs. <laughs> yeah, so this is again the big Dungeness male and uh, he's unprepared in that his shell is still on um, top and bottom. So yeah, let's give you guys a peek at this big boy here. Yeah, so. At the market, um, you know, they're always like a little bigger, but they just don't taste as good. And I think it's because they sit in water that's recycled and clean. It's just nothing like ocean water. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to uh, kind of prepare this crab. So once it comes out of the pot, again, this is cold. So if you are doing this freshly after cooking, make sure um, you let it cool a little bit mm -hmm. because a lot of the juice inside is still boiling, even though he might be cool to the touch on the outside, he could still be sizzling on the inside. So um, you basically take your finger and find the soft spot kind of behind him, right? And you kind of push it in and it's going to get kind of gross. You ready? Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't take away your appetite, <laughs> but uh, you're basically going to just spread them open, right? Ugh, gross. <laughs> so inside all of a sudden, um, looks like the predator. All, yeah, it does. Yeah. So all the guts and everything, for the most part are pretty much captured in the shell, um, you know, the top shell. Uh, this is called the carapace, the entire like exterior body shell. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put that aside. We're not gonna eat that. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll notice here that all the lungs and stuff are intact. So these are actually the crab lungs. You don't eat that. Yeah. Now this is a male um, and of course, you know, there are no uh, eggs in the males. So if this was a female, mm -hmm. there would probably be a big orange patch right down the middle. And so we're just gonna break it in half and we'll each have a piece. Nice. There you go. So inside you'll notice uh, this is what's called the crab butter. It's kind of just like a gooey part of the crab. So there you go. Cool. So my sister has a <laughs> side and I have a side here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, break our shoulders apart. I was gonna cheers. Oh. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Welcome back to Cali. Thanks. Boom. Oh, only here for like 48 hours. <laughs> well, good. We got you something to, mm -hmm. to remind you at home real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is uh, my favorite part right here. So it's in the shoulder meat here that you'll find, in my opinion, the most like kind of succulent, um, juicy, um, mm -hmm. biggest, you know, chunks of meat. And everyone kind of waits for the shoulder. It's really good. Um, and these, you know, crabs that you catch from the pier, man, there's something about the meat compared to like crab that you buy at st in the store, even the live ones, that's that much better. And again, this is like cold style. There is lemon. I'll put a little lemon, a little lemon on mine and yours. Mm -hmm. Look how big that chunk is. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Dang. That's okay. good. I, I'm biased. I, I caught the crab. <laughs> I catch them all the time. I always, I always say that they taste better They're when you so catch fresh. them. But yeah, how does it taste knowing that your Kuya caught one too and the fact that you <laughs> haven't had one in like two years? It's good because like I feel like there's so much flavor in it. Like yeah. I eat, like there's, you just go for more of like the base seasoning. It takes a while to get the, the blue crab stuff together and you just eat it really fast versus yeah. like this has so much flavor in yeah. a small bite. A lot of people are shy to eat crabs, even these big dungeon ones, because there's a lot of work involved um, when it comes to eating smaller crabs like blue crabs. There's way more work. And you can so. eat this on your own. All right, don't forget, you take the leg, you break off the tip. Oh. Mm -hmm. Break off the tip. Mm -hmm. And all the juice inside. Ooh. Why oh, haven't done that in a long time? <laughs> really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Dang, that's good. Well, you just went in there. Yeah. <laughs> I've got no time for for claw crackers. Ah! Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break my tooth. Oh! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dang, look at that. Big old chunk. Oh, see, but you're a professional. I gotta use the, I gotta use the other. Yeah, the crap not going anywhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take your time. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break open this shell. I'm gonna give you the big chunk of meat Ooh. for the smaller red crabs. There is meat in the shoulders, but definitely not as much as the Dungeness. 
Um, so I'm gonna break it open and I'm gonna let you taste it and you tell me your honest opinion of red rock crab uh -huh. versus Dungeous crab versus blue crab versus Ooh. snow crab. Man. These rock crabs are super hardy and super thick. That's why a lot of people don't like to, to mess around with them because they're that much harder to process and get to the meat. All right, the big chunk of red rock crab here. Give it a taste and uh, tell me what you Should think. Should I put lemon or no lemon? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, looks about the same. A little darker. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. It's not as sweet. Yeah. It's definitely more... How'd, I don't know. How would, it, you, how would you describe to someone that's it, never it, had crab? It broke apart a lot faster. It's yeah. It kind of reminded me of like a kind of like the sushi crab that they use. But all right, from top to bottom, hmm? what's your favorite crab? If you now that you know mm. what now that you remember what Dungeons crab tastes like, and now that you know what red rock crab tastes mm -hmm. like, if you have to throw in a blue crab with base seasoning because mm -hmm. that's pretty much how it's done, and snow crab, top to bottom, well, how do you grade them? Um, number one has to be the Dungeness crab because I grew up eating that. It's like a family tradition, uh, and I just grew up on eating it. I think it has a lot more flavor, um, and to me, that's like a traditional crab. Yeah. To eat. Um, and then number two, you, you know, I have to. I don't know. It depends on convenience. Like I like the snow crabs because you can get these huge long, and I was introduced that's by true. Uh, Corey how to eat it and. Um, and you just, it's so easy to break and you get this full leg of meat. Yeah. And you can just dip it in garlic butter or base seasoning. And that's super good. I think that, um, the blue crab, I like the blue crab more so for the experience of just having these like hundred little crabs and you're just pounding away. Yeah. And everyone's usually just silent because yeah. they're so focused on digging for the meat yeah. and using the claws for it. And then we'll just kick them back with a jug of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, speaking of beer, wish I had one. I know. <laughs> If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Um, I know a lot of you guys like watching us eat um, all this good stuff. So if you want to see her, or my mom, or um, somebody else uh, in one of these uh, kind of catch, cook, eat videos, let me know, and uh, I'll do it more often. And um, the next time you come out, yeah, man, maybe maybe we can get you out on the water and actually fishing this time. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. That sounds like fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks for sticking through. If you did. Um, it's been a blast catching and cooking and eating this food and having you guys join the party. So Vita, thanks for stopping by on your brief West Coast tour <laughs> and uh, sad to see you go. I'm, I'm glad I was able to give you a taste at home. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Bye guys. We'll see you in the next one. Eat blue crab in DC too. <laughs> quarter decks. Annapolis. Oh no. Uh, Arlington. Yeah. Quarter decks. Quarter decks. Has amazing blue crab in Arlington, Virginia. It's just about a five minute drive from the center of Washington, D.C. Yeah, won't well, regret it. I'm trying to promote it now. <laughs> they should pay us. I know. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.